New York City Mayor Eric Adams held a press conference here at City Hall where I asked him about an unexpected supporter following his indictment. Former President Donald Trump has come to your defense saying he predicted your indictment after you spoke out about migrants in New York. Do you welcome his support? Uh, uh, listen, uh, I welcome support from every American, uh, no matter where they are and who they are, I welcome support from every American that those who know me and know how I am and those who are just reading up on this. So every American in this great country, I welcome support from. We also asked New Yorkers what they think about the charges. When the FBI begin to investigate you, nine times out of 10, they have the evidence, they have the proof. They don't go after you unless they actually have the factual truth about the situation. They're basically just waiting for the process to go through. I'm sad that, you know, it's occurring, uh, only because New York City, we already have enough to deal with, with the immigrants and people in the city, and it's just a, a crazy time for it to be occurring. I really think that there's like something susk about how like every time an African-American person gets powerful, that's when like, like, what, like what, why don't we ever hear about the scandals of the white politicians? Like what are we like supposed to believe like they're like not doing sus stuff? I don't think that they make those uh, capriciously. So I would say they're quite serious and, uh, and I hope it's dealt with quickly. Well, I think he's innocent until proven guilty. He said he's not guilty. So we have to wait and see uh, how that plays out. I think he was indicted um, by a grand jury, which means there must have been credible evidence. And so uh, timing mean, to me means nothing in this case. If, you, if he resigns, then he's giving in to pressure that he doesn't want to. And so he's being pushed out. I think if somebody resigns, they should just decide to resign. Mm -hmm. And he shouldn't be forced to. Right. But the pressure may cause him to resign. I think that uh, Governor Hochul should give him the opportunity in order to resign, as my husband said, um, because uh, basically, suppose he does prove his innocence, what are they going to do now? So he proved that he was, the charges were not proved, and now he's out of a job because he resigned. So what do we do now? And then you have to take a look at, you know, who is the next person that's in line? You know, what do we know about the, you know, next candidate, his deputy, Please, no. his deputy, who would be, who would be, no. who would be next? No. I know who's next. And, um, and he's a no. I kind of thought, I, yeah, I know, you know, who's next. I, I mean, basically, as far as I'm concerned, I, I haven't heard of his political track record to be to this level where he could run a city. Oh, he can. And so <laughs> I feel like he can't run this, isn't, this isn't the person, this isn't the time. You know, we just can't hand over the baton simply because people are upset that he's indicted. For more coverage, visit WashingtonExaminer.com. In New York City, I'm Haston Willis for The Washington Examiner.